Greetings for the fifth time this season, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Catalonia, Spain for PRL Pacific Season 11 on the PS4. In qualifying, it was a fantastic lap on the mediums. The soft lap just wasn't quite there. It will be our starting tyre though. And Stuart, with a wheel dangling off the front of his car, gets pole for the second time this season, locking out the front row with his teammate, just like Shanghai as well. The Sauber's looking very good. Danny starting P5, the championship leader, on the soft compound importantly. She's the highest car starting on the yellow striped tyre. We're the second highest, and we had a pretty good launch in comparison to Bungie. So we're up to seventh. With a PP, I probably could have been looking at the second row of the grid. However, these things happen in racing. We have to make the most of what we can. Danny with a great line through turn one. Maintains P6. Unfortunately, Pure Gold has jumped her with a fast starting super soft tyre on that Ferrari. But she runs wide in turn three. And it'll give me an opportunity up her inside into turn four. And there's no team orders at Toro Rosso. This is free racing between the two of us. And we're just going to try and stay with the lead pack. That's the main objective. These soft tyres should come towards us late in the stint. Up ahead you can see Pure Gold challenging HSV. So a great start for the Ferrari driver. A great qualifying also by HSV. I believe that's his best of the season. But now he's in our clutches. Down the inside into the next corner if we can make a late move. Very calculated actually, had to let off the brakes at one stage. Up into P5. Unfortunately for the Williams driver, he loses control a little bit, goes very wide and Danny sails through behind me. If you look to the right, out of the exit of this corner, you will see one of the Sauber's has spun out, that's pure axle. Okay, unfortunate for him. Talking of unfortunate, watch this. So Bungie doesn't quite nail the pit entry and is out of the race. Talking of out of the race, Craig from P3 in the McLaren bins it around the fast right hand sweeper. Virtual safety car, virtual safety car, reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. That VSC, perfect timing for pure gold on a two stop. And into the pits eventually goes Stuart, that VSC also helped him extend his stint that far. That'll really bring them both into play. We went a few laps longer on the softs. Go now. Set for an easy one stop on these mediums. Unfortunately, I got bottled up behind Kid Buyers. Couldn't quite make the move on the Haas work while his teammate stayed out in the lead on softs. Fresh softs from the start, of course, starting outside the top 10. He followed Danny and I through that stint, actually passed Danny towards the end of it. And you'll see him come out of the pits here as we pass his teammate. So Kid Buyers holding us up for one lap. Will that be key? Possibly not, based on how this pans out. But up ahead, you can see Stuart and we actually catch him over the course of the next few laps, setting a fastest lap as well. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. The Sauber now firmly in our crosshairs. The pole sitter possibly going to the end. Definitely a challenge for him to make those tyres last. But I think we surprise him around the outside of turn one. Only a few laps later, it's the lead for us as Pure Gold makes his second pit stop. Now unfortunately, my footage pretty much stopped. They actually had a black screen for a couple of seconds, had to pause, and that's how Cartoon caught me. And even more unfortunately, we had this laggy collision which demoted us out of the top two. You can see Stuart and Danny go through. Pure Gold would get us both as well as I actually entered the pits. At the end of the race, Cart did look vulnerable and I wanted to make the move on him, having caught up after making that pit stop. By the way, this footage exists because I saved it from the PS4, not using my usual recording software on the Elgato. And there's an incident there which Cart did receive a two point penalty for. I don't think I would have got him position-wise to the end, but it wasn't nice to be put onto a three-wheel wagon there, with one sort of holding it up as pure axle goes by. Danny Rocks wins the race though, and that's very important for the team. Her third win of the season pushes her points margin out above a race win once again. Hazza unfortunately didn't show up this time, so he falls out of the top three. But I ended up P5, and I look forward to the next race. Potential redemption there in Monaco. I've been Jacko. See you then.